Hi everyone, Victor here again, and I welcome you to lesson two of the Ansible series. In today's lesson, we're going to look at how to install the Ansible software. And here's my control node. And like we discussed in the previous lesson, we looked at ways at which we can install the Ansible software. So I don't have um, the subscription and that means that I won't be able to install the Ansible software from CDN. The next available option for me is to install the Ansible software from the Red Hat Enterprise Linux 9 systems. So with Red Hat Enterprise Linux 9, the Ansible software is shipped with the ISO package. So what I'm going to do then is to configure my local repository so that I can install the Ansible software from the real night package so on the system i already have the local repository being configured if you don't know how to configure a local repository with red hat enterprise linux 9 system you can check the description box below um, i have a link you know that link would take you to the video or to the um, article where i you know um, showed people how to configure the local repository using the rel 9 ISO. So if you look at my system, if I do cut, oops, let me just cd to yum.repos.d. If I do ls, you can see my local repository file. So if I do cut local.repo, so you can see the configuration file for my local repository. And you can also see that the file is pointing to slash mnt slash upstream meaning that if i go to slash mnt and i do ls you can see the upstream you can see the packages so i'm going to be installing ansible from this um, local repository that i have configured on my system and another thing i want to do is i don't want to install ansible as the um as the root user so what I'm also going to do is to, you know, install Ansible as another user. So I already have the user Victor here on my system. So if I do ID Victor, you can see that I have the um, user Victor here on my system. And so what I'm going to do is to make sure that Victor is a pseudo user. And for me to be able to do that, I can just do, um, I can go and copy the important parameter in the sudo house file. So if I just scroll down, let me see. So this is the file I need. So I'm just going to copy this one here. And then I can exit. So I'm going to create um, a drop-in file for Victor. So I'm going to have um, sudoers, D. This is going to be Victor. Okay, I already, whoa, I already have this here. That's fine. So meaning that Victor is already um, a pseudo user. So let me just copy it and paste it again so you can see what I did here. So all I just did is to edit this and turn this to Victor. So meaning that Victor um, is in the pseudo group, right? So I can now say SSH um, Victor uh, localhost. So I can give them the password for Victor. So you can see that now we are logged in as Victor. So to install the Ansible software, you need to make sure that you have the Python version of 3.8 or a version that is higher than 3.8. So if I just do sudo python dash dash version, you can see that we have a Python version um, 3.9 meaning that we are good to go. So the next thing we're going to do is to install the Ansible software. So to do that, I can just say sudo dnf install. Let me just remove this cursor. Install Ansible core. So I can just say yes to all. So Ansible is already is, is, is installing from our local repository. And you can see that the installation is complete and if i do ansible dash dash version 
So you can see that we have the Ansible version of 2.12 being installed. So this is cool. And now that we have the Ansible being installed, we also need to install a very important tool to work with Ansible, which is the Ansible Navigator. And to install the Ansible Navigator, um, we need the PIP Python module. So I'm going to have to install the PIP Python module. So to install the PIP Python module, I can just do DNF install. DNF install. This is going to be Python, Python 3. Then the PIP module, I can just say yes to all. So what we have in, okay, I think the command is wrong. There is a, a typo error. TNF, so no good substitution management, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so I need to add sudo. So now we can see that the Python module is being installed, right? Now we can use this Python module, the PIP Python module to install Ansible Navigator. So I can just say Python, Python 3, module PIP install Ansible Navigator. Okay, um, I did not use the sudo, but let's see if this is going to install Ansible Navigator. Yeah, it's actually doing that. So what I'm going to do is to pause the video, and when this installation is done, I'm also going to resume the video back. So this has been successfully installed. So if I now do Ansible, if I do Ansible, Ansible Navigator, dash dash version so you can see the version of the ansible navigator that we have so we are we are actually doing well and now we need to download or make sure that the ansible navigator which is also the automation content navigator we need to make sure that you know this is able to download the execution environment container image meaning that we need to have Podman being installed on our system because without Podman, right, we won't be able to have the container image being downloaded. So I can just do DNF install Podman. Just put sudo DNF install Podman do y. So this is installing the Podman to for our container image. So I'm just also going to post the video and when this is done installing, I'm going to resume the video. So now that this is done, if you have a, a, a credentials, you know, that you can use to log into the registry, of course, you can just do podman login followed by the registry name, and after which you can now do a podman pool to download the container image for the execution environment. Then after which you can then, you know, verify the available images that have been downloaded. And after which you can just do, um, of course, to verify, you can do podman images, right? Then after which you can now do um, you can now do Ansible Navigator, Ansible Navigator images to see the container images. But because I don't have any credentials, I am like, you know, I am leveraging on my local repository. So what I'm going to do in that regard is to use the Ansible Navigator command, just Ansible Navigator command, right? So I'm going to say Ansible navigator command so this is going to leverage on my local repository and it's going to download the container image for the execution environment 
I can also do Ansible Navigator images. So because I'm doing this for the first time, it is going to download the images. But I'm going to, you know, just simply use Ansible Navigator. And I can now say enter. So it's pulling the image. It's trying to pull the image. You can see trying to pull slash ansible search creator. So what I'm going to do is uh, this might take time. I'm also going to post the video. And when this is done, I'm going to resume the video. So this is copying blog, still copying blog file. So this is done. So now we can, you know, press the escape command. So if I do Ansible, or if I, I can do Ansible Navigator images, or if I do Codeman images. So you can see that we have our image being downloaded. So thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next lesson and we will continue with our Ansible series. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment. When you do this, you will encourage us to do more of these videos. Thank you once more and bye for now.